So what is going on guys, I'm in here. Today I'll be testing out a brand new N64 emulator for the 3DS. It's actually brand new. It's been out for a week at the time of this recording, maybe around two weeks. And of course, probably won't run as good on the older versions of it, such as the 3DS, the 3DS XL, or the 2DS. But it will probably run way faster on the new 3DS, new 3DS XL, and new 2DS XL. And yeah, today we're just going to be testing them out. And first off, we'll be trying it on the 2DS. Um, I will be leaving links in the description below. Installing it is quite easy. You just unzip the file and put it onto your SD card. And I already did that with this. And I already have a few backed up games on, on my SD card already. On both of my SD cards for my 3DS and my 2DS. And yeah, so basically all we need to do is just launch it up and let's just get right into it. It does take a quite a while to launch up and here we are. Uh, let's go to the Super Mario 64 and let's see how that runs. All right, so, so as you can see, the audio is a little bit bugged out. Here's the FPS counter, uh, 26 frames per second uh, uh, around there. And right away it jumps to six. Press start. Alright, so the actually in person the picture quality isn't actually that bad. It's actually really crisp and pixel perfect and it's really good. Um the same people that made this um uh, made a PSP version of it and um they're they're well known for making that version uh, pretty much perfect and um I'm gonna try out uh, Banjo Kazooie and then Super Smash Brothers and let's see. So here it is. Um, it's actually running fine right now, but again, it'll probably yeah. At one point, it was like one frame per second. So here it is. It's not actually not running that bad. Uh, there is a quite a bit of audio lag, and you can see some of the textures are a little wonky. So so far, the the menus are actually quite all right. I think it starts off in classic mode. So um, I think right now it's just loading up. And yeah, right away. Yeah, so let's just start it up. Okay, <laughs> the audio is very wonky right now. But there was um, forums online saying that N64 emulation was impossible, and I guess this kind of just proved them wrong. It is actually possible. We'll be trying it on the 3DS soon. And they said it was literally impossible, but now um, I guess they just proved them wrong. And um, I'll leave a link to that um, to that forum right now. So here it is. It's actually really kind of really unplayable we are trying out a uh, banjo kazooie and right away again with similar to the other games it's very choppy uh considering this is on a 2ds uh an older version or model of the uh 3ds family and you can't actually can't skip this it's actually all right right now so um there's kind of a reason why I haven't been showing my 3DS in recent videos and you can already kind of tell is because my 3DS has got a cracked screen and it started bleeding. But um, that's kind of why I haven't been using it recently in my videos. But um, we'll be trying out um, the emulator on here just to see if it's actually even better or even worse. Uh, I already installed the CIA and everything, I just haven't tested it out yet. So here we are. It, and as you can see, it actually opens up really fast, unlike the 2DS. Alright, that's kind of something you would expect from a, a new 3DS. So, let's go on to Mario 64 and see how that runs. And as you can see right now, it's pretty much perfect. The audio, pretty much everything is a little slowed down. Um, I'm not sure if it's my, my 3DS, but there's a problem with mine. Uh, as you can see, the C stick is broken off, and I think yeah, that's, it's probably registering me um, moving around the C stick. So like, um, it'll be just drifting. So if if 
I'll try to play Mario 64 and all these other games with the um, drift anyways, just for testing out to see how it runs. And this actually runs really smooth, Mario 64. So far, just menu-wise and 30 frames per second. The audio is pretty much almost perfect. 30 frames per second, that's really good for, for a Nintendo 64 emulator. And for like the first beta, that's actually really smooth for Super Mario 64. So let's just let this keep on going. Also, I tried putting on 3D. Um, it's it's all right, you could kind of see a little bit of 3D, but there's also a little bit more color. So I would definitely play, uh, play with just a little bit of 3D on for the more colors. But I'll just take it off for your guys' uh, pleasure of viewing it. So as you can see, it runs pretty much perfect now. So again, I'm pretty sure that's my uh, drifting with the camera. So I'm gonna see if I could uh, launch up a uh, Bob on Battlefield. So it's actually pretty much like actually playable now. At least you can play um, Super Mario 64 without um, having to deal with the uh, D-pad on like on Super Mario 64 DS. Okay, the music is a little bit uh, wonky. Like it, it's like a little slowed down. But sometimes, that's just for sometimes, but as you can see, everything else is pretty much really good right now. So it's actually really good now. You can actually play it. Uh, it'll probably have some hiccups or something later on into the game. But for now, if you want to play Mario 64 uh, without having to deal with the D-pad on the Super Mario 64 DS port, this is the probably the best way to play it on the 3DS, Super Mario 64. Alright, enough with this. Um, I'm going to launch up... Um, Super Smash Brothers for the 64. All right, right away, you can see 50 frames per sec, 50 frames per second. That is really good. All right, kind of just jump sick. Yeah, this is, okay, here it is, it's drifting. Okay. Okay, pretty much the only kind of problem here with this ROM at least so far would be the textures and kind of the, and for pretty much all games so far, the music or the audio. So here we are. I think we could start playing already. Oh wait, no, we need to add a CPU. So there we go. All right, there we go. All right, it is a little uh, buggy with the music. All right, there is uh, quite a bit of delay. Yeah, um, I don't, I wouldn't recommend playing Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo 64 on here. Uh, mostly because the everything is kind of delayed and um, the audio is pretty bad. It's really hard to play. And for it to be running at six, like around 40 frames per second is a little surprising to see how slow it is. It really shows how much power Super Smash Brothers uh, takes up for the Nintendo 64. So um, let's uh, jump on into uh, Banjo-Kazooie. All right, a lot more smooth there.
two frames per second. I guess that always happens. All right. It's actually a lot more smooth this time. You can actually hear the tune now. All right, once it starts with the banjo, it kind of starts slowing down. So anyways, let's start up with some uh, gameplay. PSP rather than the 3DS. The PSP is the best way to play this portably unless you have an Android and use an emulator on that, but I would definitely recommend the PSP anyways. And there's a lot more emulators for this and just better to play on a PSP so far than to use the 3DS is sort of a good experiment. And uh, again, if you want to do be a beta tester, you could always just download this and leave your reviews with the game so far. And on the uh, GitHub page that I'm going to link this in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Like it won't even uh, register the game, the load or safe slots.